The last person to endorse Joe Biden, Elizabeth Warren, finally endorsed the former vice president today on April the 15th. She made her endorsement a time span of 124 days from today's date to the beginning of the Democratic National Convention. This is proof that Warren is going to be Biden's vice president and at the event that Joe Biden is dead or is not nominated at the Democratic National Convention, that would mean that Elizabeth Warren is going to be the nominee instead of Joe Biden. This is what the gematria of coronation is all about. This is what the coronavirus is all about. That is what corona, meaning crown in Spanish, is all about. Is the crowning of the first female president after Biden is dead at 77 years of age? It is depression that has gematria of 124. It is coronation, the crowning of the first female president having gematria of 124. It's President Elizabeth Warren that has gematria of 124. This is what the endorsement is all about, is that she is earning her ticket to be Joe Biden's vice president and at the event that Biden is dead or the DNC nominates someone else, that would mean that she is the next president of the United States, the first female president, a hundred years after the passage of the 19th Amendment women's suffrage. I want you to notice that today's date, April the 15th, as up to 19. And another thing to note with the date numerology today is that that is a date numerology of 59. This is the 59th election, and that means that the stock market crash is coming. And the date numerology of 59 before the 59th quadrennial election means that she's going to be the running mate of Joe Biden. The script is in, and it's going to be a really crazy turn of events before the Democratic National Convention. The moment that Joe Biden is dead or is hospitalized would have to resign from the race. That would mean, that would mean that his running mate is the new nominee.